All right, so I've been watching this show with Egypt, and it's called The Legend of Korra. And it's this anime show that's like a series from the, the Avatar, Last Airbender. And so I'm like kind of addicted to this show. I'm loving it. And there's this moment when Korra is feeling a lot of fear and anxiety. And she feels nervous about really stepping into her warrior power and she feels like she might not be able to do it or there's still so much to learn and how can she like really accept the calling and is she ready for it so she feels nervous about it she feels anxiety she feels fear and so her father says that you can't you have to talk about your fear because if you just keep it in you're not going to really be able to figure out how to use it and how to create what you want from it. And I'm watching this daggone show with Egypt and I'm like, yo, that was an official jewel, like official jewel. Especially because I think for me, you know, speaking personally, a lot of times I will be speaking the optimism that I want to feel. You know what I mean? So even if I'm feeling kind of negative, if I'm feeling insecure, if I'm feeling vulnerable, I will continue to speak the optimism thinking that that's, if I speak it, it's going to come, which I believe in. And I do believe in the power of words. And, and it is true what you speak. You know, it does come towards you. It comes for you. But then I realized, wow, there's also power in speaking your fears. And a lot of times I avoid talking about my fears because I feel like I don't want to call them to me. I don't want to, you know, give it too much attention. I want to, you know, let again, stay in the glass half full vibe, whatever the case is. But when he said that on the show, <laughs> it really spoke to me and it really showed me that also honoring your fears and speaking on them and getting them out is such a powerful tool for healing and for becoming stronger and for manifesting what it is that you want. Because then you can use that and you can say, all right, here's what I'm afraid of or here's what I'm worried about. And you can use that to get to know yourself better and to transform it and change it and then become the warrior tap in to the warrior the calling that's in you already like Cora so it was fire and I had me a moment I was like you know what I gotta talk to my folks about this this is fire I really feel this and I want to share this so I figured it's a little piece of peace in that I wanted to give it to you sending you blessings love may you tap into your inner warrior speak on your fears and may we all become fearless. <laughs> Love y'all.